Hey, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Being Real. I am Joe. Get used to the face, get used to the pace, because we move quickly. And today we're taking a look at making $50,000 a year as an individual that maybe wasn't in the thumbnail or in the title, maybe hopefully was in the description, making $50,000 a year as an individual in the United States. You're broke. You're broke. You know, recently there was a, a guy by the name of Ryan Halbert who did a... Uh, a bit on this that was on TikTok, I believe. Uh, it went viral, but it's pretty self-explanatory. And uh, the information he used, some of it, you'll, I mean, also use the same information, but it won't be the same. But it's it's basically broken down to, which is getting back to, I was, I was really shocked because it's like, has nobody ever considered this? I thought maybe they haven't. So you really need to sit down and look at what you're doing, what your income is, and where is it going? You know, what are you doing? Is this affordable? Is it sustainable? And the answer is no, because if you're making $50,000 a year and you're broke as an individual and the median income is far, far below that in the United States. So really, what are we doing here? And people say, oh, OK, well, that doesn't make. Well, let's take a quick run through it. OK, let's look at the numbers right quick. If you're making $50,000 a year, that's, you know, it's about four grand a month. We're going to use round numbers here. OK, so nobody get technical with me. Uh, it's about, you know, four grand a month give or take. So you're making four grand a month. Well, if you're only in a 20% tax bracket, that's a 20% total tax bracket. You're taking home 3,200 a month. So 3,200 bucks a month. Well, if you got 1,500 bucks in rent, which is pretty good rent, by the way, if you're really not getting that in California, I mean, you've got 500 bucks that you're going to spend in groceries. Um, that's that's for sure. So you got a four hundred dollar car payment um, and insurance on the car. I mean, that's another hundred bucks if you can find it. I mean, you're up to twenty five hundred bucks in the blink of an eye. You haven't paid for your cell phone yet. You haven't paid your insurance yet. You haven't paid for your utilities yet. You haven't paid for all of these things. You, you get to thirty two hundred bucks really, really quickly. I mean, we can walk through it again. But I mean, fifteen hundred half of it's gone in rent. You had 500 in groceries. There's 2,000. Boom, you got 1,200 le bucks left before you start paying $200 a month in gas and $400 a month car payment and $100 insurance for that same car. That's 700 bucks a month. So you're 27 before you pay for any of your utilities or cable bill or cell phone or anything else. That 3,200 bucks is gone, folks. And that's if you're not buying anything else. That's if you're never going out. That's if you're not doing anything to make life enjoyable. I know that sucks, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. So really, you know, what's the answer here? Because we're going into 2023. Inflation is getting worse. Uh, your your money's going to buy less, not more. I mean, how are people doing this now? Well, I can tell you how a little bit is, well, they've been putting it on credit cards, which is why we're at a all time high and believe it's $987 billion and consumer credit, unsecured floating credit. It's just blown up in the past year, by the way, over 20% in the past year. But the bottom line is, what can we do about it? Because we know what the problem is. If you can't live on $50,000 a year, and you can't, you surely have nothing to set aside. So what are you going to do when you're not making $50,000 a year? You have to do something about your income. You have to do something about your assets. So let's say you can live off the 50000 a year. We just lined it out. You're going to spend every bit of it. And that's going to be living on a budget. Oh, by the way, I, I've, I've got to back up just for a second. <laughs> you know, I really, really enjoyed. Um, I saw this. Uh, I saw the I I didn't actually see uh, Mr. Halbert's uh, deal, but I there was a, enough of it on the news story that I got the gist of it. And it was really funny because the first people they went to to quote were the Dave Ramsey people, you know, don't live in credit. Don't 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 worry about it. Pay everything in cash, blah, 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 blah. And they immediately started ripping into this guy saying his numbers were off and that he could get his his rent down by getting a roommate. Yeah, that's probably true. But I also think the number of fifteen hundred dollars a month is pretty damn conservative. So honestly, it's OK. Let's say you could cut that in half by getting a roommate so you can get, you know, get three people. You're going to need a bigger house. You can't have a one bedroom. This was based on a one bedroom. 
So they were saying his his numbers were off. And I'm saying they're thinking, no, they're not. None of his numbers were off. It's it goes back to the whole story that you know people will believe what they want to believe, and the Ramsey types. Uh, there's nothing wrong with Dave Ramsey's approach. You know, pay everything in cash as long as you have the cash. But now we're looking at people who are paying for everything in cash and they don't have enough of it. So when you don't have enough of it, what do you have to do? You have to get some more. That's the bottom line. You can't save your way. I'm sorry, Dave. You cannot save your way to fortunes. It just doesn't work like that. You can save yourself into the grave or you can go make some money. So I would really prefer that you go and make some money. Take some credit risk. Go make some money. You only live once, folks. YOLO. What do you got? What do the millennials or the Gen X's call them? YOLO. You only live once. You don't have to take stupid chances. You don't have to take risky chances, but you got to take a chance. You got to do more than go to a 40 hour a week job and sit there and get your paycheck and go home and figure out how somebody's going to tell you how to save it correctly. Now, when you're making $50,000 a year, what are you going to do when you're married? If you have kids, folks, $100,000 is not going to raise a family anymore. Who's making $100,000 out there? Not many people. I mean, you know, in the, in the pure numbers, yeah, there are a lot of people, but as percentages, not very high. So what do we do? We become in charge of our own destiny and we create our own sources of revenue. We create our own income. It's what you have to do. You absolutely have to do it. So the question is, how do you get started? And that's what our video library is full of. So go check out all those other videos. But I'll tell you real quick, self-reliance, the number one key to success is yourself. And if you believe in yourself, you will succeed. Yeah, okay, I'm not being Tony Robbins here. And then you're probably saying, yeah, that doesn't pay the bills. What else you got? No, I'm telling you, you will succeed. Every single person who I've ever worked with in the real estate investing market, for example, that has applied themselves has gone on to do great, great things. I've not seen one single person that applied themselves and dedicated themselves to being a real estate investor fail. I've seen plenty of people fail that half-assed it and tried to do it with a little bit of effort. And, you know, I don't have anything wrong with people doing it part-time, but when you're doing it part-time, you need to do it and do what you're supposed to be doing. You can't just do it part-time as in, I'm going to do part of the work this week. No, you set out a schedule and you do that amount of work per week or that amount of work per day, whether it's one hour a day or five hours a week or whatever it is, you get that done. But it's 40 hours a week. I don't care. You get that done and you are going to be successful. The less time you put into it, the longer it's going to take you to get from point A to point B. But you've been surviving off this $50,000 a year or less already for quite some time. So you're going to be able to survive for a little bit longer. Come on over. Let me show you how to become a real estate investor. You don't have to have any money. So nobody's got any money. You don't have to have credit. You don't have to have any of that crap. And I'm not going to charge you to teach you what it is. Come over, check it out. Hit me up in the comment section if you want to have a direct consultation. Happy to give it to you. And we'll just acknowledge Mr. Halpert's right. Everybody's right. $50,000 a year ain't making it. Folks, $100,000 a year is not making it if you've got a family. Not if you want to live a lifestyle that you're actually going to enjoy. So this is the United States of America. Come on over. Check it out. Learn it for free. You only live once. For God's sakes, take advantage of it. Take advantage of my experience. It's free. All right. Talk to you soon.